Let's now create the four holes here. I'm going to hit C to grab circle and select this face. Left click. I'm going to double click my middle mouse to zoom extents. I'm going to create our circle here. First click and the diameter for this one is 13. Hitting enter. I'm going to hit C once more. Creating another circle here. I will not input any value. And creating our circles here. And the fourth one. Hitting escape. Now obviously the diameter of the remaining three circles should be 13. I'm going to go to constraints and select equal. Selecting our parent and the child the parent and the child, the parent and the child. Hitting escape. So if I revise the value of our dimension, automatically the rest of the three circles will update. Next, let's grab our constraint. As you can see, our circles should be aligned horizontally. So I'm going to go to Sketch Palette, but first I'm going to left click anywhere here to deselect that point. Scrolling down and selecting Horizontal Vertical. Selecting the center point and the center point. So now they are aligned horizontally. Same here, center point and center point. Hitting Escape and grabbing our dimension. Selecting this point. And this edge, I'm going to drop our dimension here and key in 9, hitting enter. Next one, selecting the center point and our edge, dropping our dimension here, keying in 9, hitting enter. Next, Selecting this edge and our center point, dropping our dimension here, keying in 9, hitting enter. Selecting our center point and the center point. I'm going to drop our dimension here and key in 23.5. Same here. Selecting the center point and the center point, dropping our dimension here. Keying in 23.5, hitting enter, hitting escape. So this one is still moving horizontally. I can hit D once more. So take note, our center point is already selected. Selecting this edge and I'm going to pan and drop our dimension here. Keying in 9. Hitting enter, hitting escape, moving our entities to check if it's fully constrained. So yes it is. I'm going to hit E and go to home view, E for extrude. And now we are prompted to select a profile, selecting this profile, left click, left click this one, left click this one, and left click this one. So for Profiles are now selected. I can grab our blue arrow down. So it turned into red, meaning it's a cut. But if I drag this one up, it's an added extrusion, which is the operation is join. So dragging this one again and going to direction, this one should be one side. Extents should be all. And finally, hit OK.